lot of street stars. We in here with Trap Boy Freddy. What it is, man? Hey, what it do, baby? Chillin', bro. For the people that don't know, bro, that shit know by now, man. Where you from? I'm from Oak Cliff, Texas. I done been all the way around that bitch. You can't miss me nowhere in the club. Man, it's real shit, man. Let's give you a second to flex on them real quick, man. Um, off top, man, you know, from everyone that then came through the D or came came through here. You know, we had some top three artists, you know what I'm saying, at the D, man. I mean, consistently, it's Trap Boy, Freddie, and two others, you know what I'm saying, or wh yeah. whatever. But your name always yeah. comes up, up on that list, man. Um, off top, man, what does it feel like, you know what I'm saying, to just be recognizing the city as just off top of one of the hottest artists out, man? I mean, shit, you know what I mean? The shit feel good. Off the rip, it feel good, you know? Shit, you know, just real fucking with real. Real shit, real shit, man. I just wanted to give you a second to, you know, touch on that real quick. But uh, let's go and take them back, man. Um, man, uh, man, let them know how you got in this, man. The rap game, man. You know what I'm saying? What put you in it, man? Shit, really, man. Uh, me and Lil Sleeves, we was over there looking at uh, uh niggas' interviews and shit and all yeah. this extra shit. And then when they be listening to them rapping, shit, they talk about some shit they don't know no uh got no business talking about. Yeah. And cool. And just really just to clear some shit up. What's uh, what's the first track you recorded that you got in the booth and fuck with? Who was on the song? Or tell us how that came down. I mean, like a long time ago. Yeah, long, yeah. Take us back, bro. I mean, you know, my partner uh, running. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, run DMC. But I wasn't rapping for real. Then I was just doing something. Yeah, just fucking with it. But when we came back though, for real, for real, it was me and Slee. We did. I don't know no Migos. That's real shit. That's real shit, man. And uh, you know, while we back in that time, man, um. Even just going with your name, Trap Boy Freddy, man, did you pick that for yourself or did somebody uh, throw that at you and you just kind of stuck with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it really just fit. It yeah. fit me one day. That's real shit. That's real shit. Man, as far as, um, you know, coming up in, you know, the cliff, you know what I'm saying, and coming around town, as far as what, who inspired you in the city-wise or if anyone inspired you in the city to touch this music, man, besides, uh, of course, your Ronnie and your, your people, whatever. I mean, shit, if, if I look at it like that, uh, I say uh, High Boy and, uh, and Nino did Shy and them. Yeah. Them niggas I used to listen to when I was in school and shit like that. That's real shit. That's real shit. Anybody um, outside the city, you know what I'm saying, as far as, uh, you know, the Pox, the Biggies, you know what I'm saying? Anything you, as far as coming up as a youngster, bro, that you uh, sat and listened to that kind of. Yeah, nah, I, really, I listen to Jeezy Gotti. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, motherfucking Booster or Gates. Real shit. Um. I just gotta clear this up. Um, what's your relationship to uh, Smart Franklin? And my brother. Is that your blood brother? Yeah. Yeah, I just, <laughs> just want to know that. Yeah, yeah, I got a video y'all just dropped, correct? Ah, uh, yeah, that's my dog shit. His shit, went, his shit going off right now. Yeah. For real, for real, shit going off. Yeah, yeah. Is that in the uh, future future tape y'all gonna put out? Ah, uh, yeah, we got uh, yeah, we got our tape, to Plug Brothers from the Drop, okay. this summer. I read it. I read it. Uh, recently, we had Puka Leroy in here, and uh, he uh, shouted you out for being one of the. You um, know, uh, we we even had this discussion, man. We could see it in you. Uh, you 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 don't. <laughs> it's like niggas your age, bro. It'd be a lot of uh, envy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like you took a lot of uh, knowledge from a lot of older cats and, and, and you, you have it instilled in you. Yeah. What yeah. is it that keeps you going, bro, to, uh, you know, to stay silent like that? I mean, shit, it's like, I know how I feel to be broke. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I don't want to go back that way. Yeah. So I mean, either have to do this or go back that way. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't going back that way, though. I read it. I read it. Uh, Sleazy got a tape out, too, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what's what's the name of? Camp Life Value One. Camp Life, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you held him down too, fam. Oh yeah, forever, forever. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that. His name gonna stay alive. He home, Rick and shit. Yeah, yeah. They gonna y'all gonna see about it in a minute. You know what I mean? Just wait. Everything gonna come out cool. Me and him got a, another tape. Uh, I cool money and T tape drop. Uh, September. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna look out for that. Plus that fourth quarter, huh? Fourth quarter coming July. Oh, okay. Oh, the summer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, really. Trap Boy Freddy Cougar 2 coming out Christmas. 
Yeah, yeah. So you, that's the thing you drop it every Christmas. Yeah, we gonna do that every yeah, Christmas yeah. for my little homie, little Dion. Rest in peace, little Dion. Yeah, man. Every uh, Christmas. Yeah, man. Uh, I want. I was just about to say something about the uh, the murders in, in, in the D. You know what I'm saying? What's your uh, take on that? Cause a lot of uh, a lot of people are saying there's a lot of youngsters involved, and in, and in, in you being being around that age range. Right. How do you? Uh, what's your views on that? I mean, shit like, you know, I can, uh, you can tell it ain't nothing but the young niggas or whatever, but shit, they need to just chill out, get them some paper. Yeah. I mean, you know, it used to be like that when we were coming up, so I know what they doing or whatever. But shit, they'll make a lot more money if they come together, I tell you that. Yeah, yeah, it's real, it's real. Yeah, uh, one thing uh, we seen, uh, you went to a school, was the Zoom walk? Yeah, I went to Zoom walk. Yeah. Yeah. I went to a few schools now though. I don't went to a couple of them whole uh and shit like that. Give out shirts, sign, take pictures and shit. Yeah. Uh perform at they pill rallies and shit. Yeah. And uh I don't, we gave out pizza and shit too. Yeah. You know, we got I gotta do I gotta do that shit every every Friday all the way to June sixth to all these schools though. Yeah, then uh, you read you hear the commitment and uh Shit, we, I mean, when I was coming up, shit, I only nigga I seen going to schools was like Master P. Yeah. Wasn't nobody actually from the city, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So I really commend you for that, bro. For I real, get, for yeah, real. Yeah, uh, <laughs> what what made you go that route? I mean, shit, my little partner, uh, the one I was just speaking about that past, Lil Dion, yeah. you know, he came up right up under a nigga, under all us or whatever. And shit, if I, I'm pretty sure if we wouldn't have been this way, he wouldn't have came this way either. Yeah. You know, he was still young when he passed or whatever. Yeah, really, yeah some shit, you know, just, you know, it don't hurt to tell a nigga something. Yeah, yeah. Man, for real, you know what I'm saying? And even going to the schools, uh, you know, I seen you and Yellow Beezy at the, of course, the Soda Hot Pep Rally. Man, how does it feel to even get a reaction, man, from, uh, you know, the generation's youth, you know what I'm saying, that actually listen to your music, they actually see you as, you know, more than just, you know, more than a man, you know what I'm saying? You know, you were you were icon, you know what I'm saying? How does it feel to get that kind of reaction? Yeah, that shit that feel good a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Do you that take shit. it um I seen I think I was on your gram, I think you had a young cat uh, you know, spin spin your music yeah, knowing yeah. all the way through, man, saying yeah. front to end, man. How does that feel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, young that cat shit cool, man. I love you know it. what I'm saying? You only gotta assume that a kid in this room got a trap boy tape in on on YouTube just, you know, going. Yeah, you, know what you, you you'll be surprised. They were jumping out the bus, running in front of buses for them things. Man, I'm telling you, yeah, man. That's real talk yeah, though, that man. Shit, that feel good though. Man, and speaking of YouTube, man, you know what I'm saying? You be on that mug jugging too, man, you know what I'm saying, doing numbers, man. Uh one of the few in the city that's actually, you know, touching a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand, you know, you know, trying to cross that million, you know what I'm saying, on everything you putting out, you know what I'm saying? It's consistently people looking for you. Um, how does it feel you know what I'm saying, to you and your music for the whole YouTube grind, you know what I'm saying, with the visuals and you know, just putting it in your face? Like I take it like uh every time I do it better. You know what I mean? So like every time it go up, every time I do anything. Real talk, man. And uh you didn't you didn't linked up with some of the city's greats, man. Go ahead and give a list of, you know, for those that, if they don't know, who you are and worked with out here in the city, man. Shit, I don't work with a few motherfuckers. <laughs> for real, don't need <laughs> Like, I don't work with all of them, really. Everyone you could possibly think of that were doing something or whatever. Real I shit. did something with all of them. Real shit, man. Tell us, um, as far as, you know, what's the studio session with Trap Boy Freddy like, man? Like, what's the what's the scenario like, man? I mean, it's going to be, you know, strictly professional. Everybody in there on their business. Real shit. Ain't nobody hanging and playing all that, all that extra shit now. Nah. Everybody shit. somewhere working. Everybody around the bitch. It's just gonna be cool, cool vibes. A bunch of drums and claps and shit like that. That's real. That's the way it needs to be. That's the way it need to be, man. And um, as far as uh, I know, you uh, you know, ironically, you here, you know, what I'm saying you supposed to do a little situation with uh, Jeezy. We ever talk about that? Or oh that? yeah, yeah. Uh, the weather gonna be fucked up or whatever, but that shit come back July fifteenth. So to, the even, gas monk. to even say like you know as a youngster you know what i'm saying you know cats that you kind of you know rock to looked up to or whatever you know what i'm saying for it to be uh you know one jeezy one of those names and to be able to rock the stage you know what i'm saying and you yeah know, put on for that man how does that feel right there man? that shit feel good shout out to the big big homie c dog man and easy willie man for putting me together for that shit i mean i ain't gonna lie i think you gen genuinely earned it you know what i'm saying as far nah, as if right. you know someone pulled up in the city and if you know whether it's boosie jeezy whoever, nah, whoever like, the fuck it is yeah whoever it is like who 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 we need to who we need to click up with you know what i'm yeah. saying trap boy yeah. ain't gonna come up man gotta know that jack um 
Can you tell the people something that they might not know about Trap Boy Freddy? Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, I pretty much think they know everything, yeah. <laughs> well, me hide it. That's real, that's real, man. And just uh, touching base on the city, man. Um, You know, I'm sure they're going to want to know, man. What's uh, Trap Boy's favorite strip club out here, man? <laughs> I like all of them already. Hey, okay. Do it like this. Give me a top three. You ain't got to put in no kind of order. You know what I'm ain't saying? Ain't no top nine. Ah. I like all of them. <laughs> do, do we? You got a, you got a, you got a favorite stripper, bro? That you that you didn't. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Bless the game yeah, with. Yeah, I got a favorite stripper. Can, hey, can we can we get a shout out? At least, can we get a shout out, man? <laughs> hey, hey, no baby. shout out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, favorite strippers change. You know what I'm saying? Like underwear, man. <laughs> For real, man. Hey, uh, with with the music game kind of being more so like. You know, strip club oriented, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I, I know you be up in the whole blessing the game, man, for real, man. What do you feel about music for regular clubs, music for strip clubs, or music for the radio? Do you feel like you make music for either one, or you just put out what you put out and it go where it go? Now, see, me, I really be like on some straight trap shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So everything that came through that bitch, that's all I really, I want to hear. Real and shit. I ain't gonna do shit about nobody else wanna hear. <laughs> Real shit. So if they fucking with it, they really fucking with it. I know it, I know it's gonna touch a whole bunch of motherfuckers though. Real shit, man. Um, the last the last tape you put out, man, uh uh what made you go with the, I mean you even came in here rocking the uh, Kruger look the Kruger the Kruger yeah. fit, man. Hey, I went with it cause Freddy. I had got the piece made. I'm telling you, man, how how, how did that uh like, was that something that originally you just kind of start going with, or is something that just kind of generated, like, man, it's Freddie? Nah, I made the CD just because I, I uh, went and got the piece. Man. I was getting the piece just because who I was, Freddie or whatever, and then yeah. I just called a mixtape that because I had the piece. That's real shit, man. That, and that mixtape do go hard from front to motherfucking oh, back. Yeah, see, that, that was the best mixtape I had that did uh, the motherfucking downloads and shit. For real. Went out. How much time did you put in on a mixtape, man, as far as when you started the project to when it uh, came out? That one right there, uh, that one came out Christmas. I probably, no stunt, I probably did the whole. Yeah. That month. <laughs> That's real shit. But that car was bullshitting, though. And then it just came out how it came on or whatever. But I was writing the shit before I went. Real shit. So every time I went, it was already just how I wanted it to be. Real shit. Can you uh, touch on some of the producers that's on that uh, tape right there? Really, hell no. Nah. I, <laughs> like I mean, yeah. shit, you know, it was people, you know, I, mean? I, I I did the tape just because, though, you know what I'm saying? So I let the people from Instagram and shit send me the beats. Yeah. I know, like, my little homie Eskimo on a bitch or whatever. Uh, it's a few motherfuckers. I just don't know their name, though. Real I tough. hit mob on it. I think Sean got something on there, too, or something. Real tough. I don't know. It's a few of them on there, though. Real tough. And just uh, you know, what I'm saying the music city, the music scene in Dallas, you know, what I'm saying, and how Fort Worth jigging, man. Are you uh, uh, are you particular as far as um, you know, the, the cats out there in Fort Worth, how they doing, man? Like, you got any artists out there, like you really fucking with out there in the funk? I mean, yeah, I fuck with the funk all the way. Shout yeah. out to them boys, but out there, yeah, yeah they fuck with me. They fuck with the kid tough out there, boy. Yeah, shit. yeah I, I fuck with all them little niggas. All them cool, you know. I don't know. I'm personally, fuck with Lil Yayo and uh, Luch, you know, Hood Fame running the whole Hood Fame, whatever. For real, you know? yeah. And uh, I know you had a couple of tracks, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, then fuck with Mo3, uh, YFN, you know what I'm saying? Luch. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fucking with that, man. Is there any other artists out there that's, you know, already established, as you would say, you know what I'm saying, that you uh, inspired, like, probably fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Just on just. Yeah, who uh, I would fuck with? Yeah, who you would fuck with on a collab yeah. level. Jeezy, Gotti, you know. Uh, Kevin Gates. Real shit. Uh, I fuck with Jigger too. He be talking that shit. Look, yeah. <laughs> Joel Santana and them. Oh, like that. hey, they leave that nigga off the list a lot, man. That nigga Jim be going. Jones and shit. Yeah, yeah can't feel my face, out. man. That nigga be going for real. Meek Mill. Yeah, real I shit. Boy, Have you been uh, you been moving around the country a little bit, or you been kind of keeping it uh, local with all the music? You know what I'm saying? You doing whatever. Nah, we did be going city and city shit. We don't be just going far or nothing. Yeah. Um. Is there any place you trying to that you want to make sure you touch? You know what I'm saying. Next couple, of, I know you're gonna be moving around, but any place in particular, you like, man, I gotta do that. Coachella, I'm everywhere. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I'm trying to go to all them hoes. That's real. That's real. And as far as um, I mean, you wanted to. Uh, we had a situation where you know we brought DJs and artists in here to talk with each other, and uh, you know the artists had you know stuff to say about DJs. DJs went back with the artists, but I think you were. Uh, uh, 
you a cat that, you know, generally got the street feeling your music, you know what I'm saying, where it wasn't even a situation where you got to go holler at DJs. Um, what do you feel about the situation between artists and DJs in Dallas, at least, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, shit, I never did got to know dumb shit like that, though, you know what I'm saying, how yeah. they be mad at the DJs. And I don't be mad at no DJ. A DJ don't owe me nothing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I like to tell them, they get them a hot song, I bet they're going to play that hoe. Yeah, or shit, you can cheat them. They don't care about nothing but what you doing, shit. You motherfucker, go get a song with somebody they do like. Real then shit. they gonna then they gonna play that hoe. They gonna call you for the song before you even do it. Watch what I tell you. Hey man, for real, man. Hey, and then come to uh, this just you know what I'm saying, just to jump on you know, personal issues, man. When it comes to these females out here, man, I know you out there out there in the cliff, man. Which which hood got the best females, man, as far as the North Cliff, the Funk, Grove. What's tra what's trap boy Freddie taste like, man? I mean, shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Going at a long list. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, man. Say, hey. don't gotta be particular, man. I feel you on that, man. Um, as far as uh, if it was anything, you know, I mean, you you didn't did everything pretty much right, though, man. As far as if you could, if you could do one thing, you know, what I'm saying different, you know, what I'm saying as far as. Just every up up until this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the stuff you learn the game. What would you do uh differently, bro? Shit. You talking about all this rap shit? Yeah, just you know, whatever whatever you learned in the game, you know what I'm saying? Just as far as I man, mean, I, would I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have paid a few people. Yeah. You know, like all the people that can say what they can do and all this shit. I wouldn't have paid them. Man, it, it, so has it been a couple of times you done paid a nigga and then say like, man, I ain't get my return on that one. I paid one nigga, didn't do nothing. I paid one more. I paid two people. I won't pay no more. Real tough. That's just like paying to open up. I treat them the same. I wish I would have never paid to open up ever. That's real. Um, but would you say it's important though to at least invest in yourself? You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, nah, I mean, all that shit good though. Yeah. You know, paying them is good. Yeah. But I wouldn't have paid it because I did everything without them anyway. Hey, so the business right here, man. Shit. Yeah, you know like everybody I paid to open up for, I'm going to get them back. And I done got them back. What would you say is the fakest shit that happened to you in the game? Shit, talking about this rap game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Real life situation, whatever. Hold on. Break this shit. I don't know, man. It'll be so much fake ass shit. Man. <laughs> It'll be so much fake shit, man. Yeah, man. That's real. That's real, man. That bitch can go a long way. <laughs> That's real, man. Um, as far as uh, uh, getting out here in these streets, man, you know what I'm saying, and touching the people, um, how how important you feel it is, you know what I'm saying, to be, you know, jugging on social media? Uh, you know, I know your IG turned up and stuff like that. How How important you feel it is to reach out to the people or do you feel like you know an artist should be kind of to himself a little bit i mean like what like as far as you know interacting you know the way the way you already doing it with the schools and stuff you know what i'm saying how important do you feel that is to the, to your artistry i mean that shit feel good to them yeah that was, that like when i drop my cds i don't take them to cd shops i put them in my shit let them come fuck yeah, with me yeah. yeah they like that shit that shit that shit cool right there it's real shit it's real shit man as far as if you was uh pulling up in uh you know, let's say uh, Gallery of North Park, man, wherever it is, man. What store you hitting first, man? Shit, I mean, any one of them has got to be Gucci or Versace. That's real shit, man. That's, that's the shit. only two I go in them home. That's real. Man, if you're, uh, as far as um the importance of what you know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, I go to Burberry, too. Oh, yeah. Niggas yeah, leave that off the list. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the easy one right there, just some light shit. Niggas leave that off the list. That's real talk, man. And as far as um you know just everything you to learn in the game man uh just you know trying to do this music you know seeing the ins and outs you know kind of you know trying to find success in this thing what's the most three important things you kind of take from it you know what i'm saying just just seeing all that you just saw you know what i'm saying uh shit, it be, i don't know yeah you got just give me one as far as when you look back and you know you jugging it out there man you're trying to you know verify you know see how everything's going like, what's one thing that you just really sit back and say, like, man, you know what I'm saying? This is what, you know, dudes don't see. I mean, shit, you know, like, that that's just the shit that made me go. Keep going at it, you know, when I go to the other places or whatever. 
Yeah. I mean, all that shit cool. I like looking at them niggas shit. It motivate me every day. That's real. Uh, what do you What do you do it for? Why Why do you rap? Shit, to feed my people. Real shit. Got a lot of mouths. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of little knuckleheads. Man, all my little homeboy. When they come home, everybody gonna do something. Everybody rapping. We yeah. ain't doing nothing else. Everybody rapping. Yeah. And how important do you feel like it is, uh, you know what I'm saying, being in the city of Dallas, you know, compared to, you know, a lot of cats, they get a little shine here, then they move out, they leave Dallas. Do you feel like that's something you might consider doing, you might do, or is it something you like, you're going to keep it home? Just, just, just on the baller's point of view, I'm going to have, have everywhere else yeah. too, but I'm going to still have my shit there. The big bitch is going to be here though. Real talk. Yeah, the big bitch going to be here. Real talk. And, um, you know, as far as being in the studio, man, give me your ideal session, man. It's, you could have five artists with you, dead or alive, rapper, singer, whatever. Shit. Who would you throw up in that thing? i take out uh, my nigga Sleazy gonna come out the real. Real shit. Yeah, you know I mean? Uh, real shit. I go get a uh, motherfucking boosted. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Can't put gates on this one because they beefing. So I'm uh, <laughs> I go get uh Lil Jewel, you know what I mean? I go get that man, bro. Yeah. Got it, shit. Shit, they put my brother on the fuck. That's the end of it. That's real, that's real. Swear yeah. right in there, we all gonna turn up. It should be it. That's real, that's real. Man, and uh, as far as, um, you know, once once that once that big check come, you know what I'm saying? They say that, uh, that deal they signed you, that first check, man. What's the first thing you'll go out there and cop, man? First thing, shit, I ain't gonna buy it yet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go write down everything for Yeah. And then we're gonna, you know what I mean, sum it all up. Then we're gonna go buy the shit. But we own it, whatever we bought up. Man, it's real. It's we real. Own no buy. lease, no rental. Yeah, everything gonna be on. Everything. That's real. It's real, man. And as far as um five years from now, bro, um, if you can look back and say, man, you know, not saying more so look back, but five years from now, when someone, let's say, Google your name. What would you want it to say, you know what I'm saying, about Trap Boy Fred? Whole bunch of good shit. Yeah. All that good shit. Millions and millions of views. You yeah. know? Shit like that. Yeah. He he, he kept on doing them toy drives and shit like that. That's real tough, yeah, man. man. That touching shit the like people. That, that's gonna get it. Yeah, touching the people, man. That's definitely something that, you know, we, we definitely commend you on, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the finest street stars out here, you know what I'm saying? The ones that's really shining out here in the streets, man. I mean, you definitely at that level, man. As far as uh if you could tell any of the young people, you know what I'm saying, that's watching, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, kind of follow your music and follow your movement, uh, what would you tell them, you know what I'm saying, what kind of advice would you give them? Shit, uh, stay down, you know. Yeah. Stay down till you come up. That's real. That's about it. That's real. All right, and as far as for those who are trying to get at you, do music or whatever, or just trying to see what you're doing in life, tell them how to, uh, tell them how to get at you, man. Shit, if uh, you trying to features a booking or anything like that, cool money ain't t booking at yahoo dot com. Shit, uh, everything else, Instagram, Twitter, and all that shit. Trap boy Freddie, Facebook Freddie Franklin though. That's real shit. And as far as uh, shout outs, man. Go shit, shout shout out, out to the whole city. Everybody keep doing y'all thing, man. Keeping it cool, you know. Cool money ain't t seeing me or nothing. You understand me? You don't got it. Don't worry about it. Man, tell them one more time, man. When that tape dropping, man? What's it called? Fourth quarter, man. Fourth of July. My mixtape release party gonna be at uh, Black Diamond. You understand me? All that shit. So that's gonna be the first time we perform anything new. And they uh need to go ahead and pick up the other quarters too. First, second, and third. Oh, all huh? them hold up. Uh, Shirts and all that. Posters, all that. Yeah. Yeah. For uh, real. Really. Was Trap Boy Freddie, man. Appreciate you coming through, man. You definitely are a real life street star. Shit, no problem. Anytime, B. Uh, really.